Rays hosting the Orioles, and the Orioles are plus 135 on the money line. The Rays are minus 160. The over-under is eight runs. The Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one, you'd win. The Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 135, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Both of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team this year. Bradish went five innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game 8-6 to six. in Tampa. He struck out eight in that game. The Orioles have won his last two appearances. They are 6-4 and four in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Eflin pitched once against the Orioles this year. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 4-2 to two in Baltimore. He struck out four. The Rays are 6-4 and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 5.3 strikeouts per game in those games. So both of these guys are a batter in inning. So keep an eye out for their K line or will there be a strikeout in this inning kind of prop bets. Head to head, the home team is 6-4. and four. The Orioles are 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. Uh... Both of them happened in their last four, and the game that they played today was one of them. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the under 8 specifically is 6-4 in their last 10. The game they played today, the Orioles won 4-3. The game before that, the Rays won 7-2. The next three games, the Orioles won 8-6, 2-1, and 4-2. And then the first game of the year, the Rays beat the Orioles 3-0. So the Rays are 3-4-4. The Orioles are 4-2 against the Rays so far this year. The Orioles are 8-2 in their last 10. The over is 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. They are 2-2 in their last 4 games. They lost back-to-back games to the Dodgers 6-4 and 10-3. Then they beat the Dodgers 8-5 and then they beat the Rays 4-3. They're on a 2-game winning streak. For the Rays, they haven't been playing very well in their last handful of games. They are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They are on a 5-game losing streak, and the under is 8-2 and two in their last 10. The under has hit in the Rays' last 4 games. They got swept in a 3-game series by the Rangers, 3-2, 5-3, 5-1, and then they lost to the Orioles today, 4-3. to I'm going to go with the underdog here. The Rays seem to have the... The Orioles seem to have the Rays numbers, and the Rays seem to be struggling right now. So, Orioles with the money line, Orioles getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.